In this lesson, we will lay out and arrange all the elements necessary to build out our project. So here is our composition, and we've got our stage set up. We also have a number of images included in our library panel here under Assets in a folder called Images. So we're going to start actually bringing these out onto the stage and creating composition elements out of them. So the first thing I'll bring out is the background image. And as I drag this out, you can see that the X and Y position is shown by these little indicators in parentheses here as I move around. And I can actually snap to the 0, 0 position, which is what I'm going to do because we want our background to be located at a 0x and 0y in terms of the global coordinates of the stage. So this is also 250 by 200 pixels, which is the same exact size of our stage as you can see right here. So let's go and grab next the arrow element that we created and pull that onto the stage. We're going to want to move this somewhere around 14 along the x-axis and 127 along the y. And you can see it's, you know, it's fairly difficult to actually get that just right. You've got to do a lot of sort of moving around. So I'm just going to drop it right there. It's still selected. So now I can go over and adjust my x and y properties manually. So I know that I'm going to want this at 14 pixels on this side and also along the y-axis, 127. Okay, now this is placed appropriately, exactly where we want it. Now anytime I place one of these things, I'm going to want to actually go in and set the lock on there. And that way, when something is locked, I can't actually accidentally select it and move it around. It's actually really locked. So, the next thing I'm going to bring out is the word cafe. So I have two cafe elements here, cafe and cafe2. And something you can do in animate is actually select more than one element from your library and bring them both over at the same time. So I'm going to drop these somewhere around here and then just make some adjustments. Go to 14 along the x-axis and let's go 17 on the y-axis. And that places it right up there for us. And you'll notice that, yeah, indeed, it's, it's both of these. Now, what we're going to want to do for later is actually create a symbol out of these. Since they're both already selected, it makes sense to just do that right now. So we'll go up to the Modify menu, and we're going to choose Convert to Symbol. And then we have to give this a name. So we'll call this one cafe underscore sim. And we'll keep autoplay timeline. That's fine. And we're going to do the same thing for the big eight that we pull out. We're going to choose both of these assets. And then we're going to bring them out. And we'll position these manually along x and y. So the x is going to be 183. And the Y is going to be 84. And then again, we'll go up to Modify, Convert to Symbol. And this time, we'll call it 8 underscore Sim. Now, two things to note while I'm creating these symbols. One is that I didn't actually name this with the number 8, because that would be invalid in terms of what Edge can do. So if I say 8 here, it actually gives us a warning saying that you can't start with numbers and so forth. So we have to use 8 spelled out. And the other thing I'll mention is that I've got this underscore sim. This is just for my sake. It's not required that when you create symbols that you name it as such. It's just so I can easily identify it. So there we go. There's that. So now there's one more element that I need to pull out here, and that's the animate element. And I'm actually going to want that to kind of snuggle up to the arrow. So something I'm going to do is select the arrow element. And you notice when I do that, I actually have to unlock it. I lock these guys back up. So when I select that, if I drag something out, it should appear right above that arrow element, because I want my symbols to be right on top. So let's find 
our anim ping. And I'll pull that out, and I want to position it actually like right above the arrow. And that's not quite right. That looks pretty close. I'm going to actually want it at 42 on the X. And the Y should be 74, which it already is. So there we go. And you'll notice that indeed, the anim showed up right above the arrow, just as we wanted. So now I can lock this down and proceed later on when I'm comfortable with animating these elements. So in this lesson, we've seen how to access items from the library that have been imported and to lay them out appropriately upon the stage, even creating some symbols for use later on.